Hey up troops, welcome back to the Latana Army, I'm Litz and this is Fortnite Save the World and in particular, look at this, the Save the World State of Development October 2018. So this is only, for me, this is only just drops, I've only just seen this. So I've just released a video on the new heroes, so if we go down to the bottom, I've just released a video on these guys, like literally minutes ago. And uh, it says here, you'll head to Hexylvania to revisit last year's Vlad Moon Rising questline. If you played the event last year, you may notice a few changes, and even more Vlad than before. New visitors of Hexylvania will deliver some spooky world saving as Ray and company confront history's evilest Vlad. Thank you for joining us on this journey. So I've just covered these two. So the rest of it, all this at the minute, I just want to quickly run over with you guys because it just looks so, so good. Now look at that for a mixture of heroes. We've got people from like the Neon event there. Do you know, we've got the originals in the back there. And then we've got someone from the, the recent event that's just been on there, the road trip event. We've got the Wild Fragment Deadeye there. So this, this is all a little bit uh, exciting, but this is the bit that I want to look at. So if we just scroll down, I'm recording this just on the fly because like I said, for me, this is just breaking news. When did they actually drop this? Does it even say? doesn't say but if you look on here so it says no free to play in 2018 so i called that i mean i actually said that earlier on this year i was saying that i'm very doubtful that it will be able to go free to play this year and it's kind of understandable i kind of get it i think they've kind of over promised there but i don't think this is a bad thing in general do you know i actually think that the game does need a little bit more time if it's going to launch fully is that do you know the player base is massive and it's only going to get even bigger who knows like to what scale especially with the popularity of battle royale do you know and with how good Fortnite saved the world is a lot of people haven't played this because of the paywall at the moment and i actually think it's limiting a little bit in a good way i think it's regulating shall we say instead i think it's actually regulating the the influx of players so they can work on the game at a reasonable pace just my thoughts i don't know what you think about that let me know down below i would love to know but let's just read this we've decided to move the free to play launch of save the world out of this year we're working on a broad set of features, reworks, and back-end system scaling we believe needed to go free to play. Save the World has grown consistently since our launch in July 2017, we were there, and Fortnite overall has experienced unprecedented growth. Scaling up for the legions of player heroes who will be joining the fight is key to providing an excellent experience. This applies to all our players, old and new, so we're taking the time to get this right. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think that's a great thing. Thank you to our founders, both new and old. If you log in and play Fortnite Mares event, you'll receive both Brainiac Jonesy and Skull Ranger Ramirez. That's who we've actually just said about that. Oh, Skull Ranger Ramirez, that changes things. For those of you who want to start playing right now, we've got you. Starting this week, we'll be hosting a 50% off sale on the standard deluxe, super deluxe and limited founders packs. That is pretty good. So do you know what? We're going to have a huge influx of Fortnite Save the World plays all of a sudden, which is absolutely awesome. If you guys who are looking to play the game, who aren't playing the game right now, and you're looking for guides and things like that, make sure that you let me know down below what kind of things it is you're struggling with so I can kind of help you out. So let's keep on moving. So front end improvements. Now, this is pretty exciting. Look at this screen. I don't know if I can make this bigger. So if you look at that, that's the screen. That's how it's going to look, which looks absolutely fantastic. It looks so cool. So you've got the hero survivors and the count XP over there on the right. You've still got the bars along the top, but this just looks a lot, lot better. And then this is the other image with the hero on there. So when you've got your hero selected or you go into the hero menu, then this is what you're going to see. But that just looks so, so good. I mean, what a long way that's come. I love the, the base in the background. It's just making, it's kind of flushing out the story a bit more. Maybe this is a good move, not making it free to play just yet. If we're going to get little updates like this, this is kind of the stuff that we needed. Okay, so it says on there, the front end UI should feel more like an integrated and understandable part of the game. Bringing the inventory into the front end earlier this year was the first step, but the upcoming revamp will push things even further. We're reorganizing menu options to make them easier to find and converting some old UI tutorial quests to use a new callout system. Additionally, we're adding polish and characters to the menus. At the end of this revamp, we want to move more of your Fortnite experience into the game rather than in the front end. We'll release an in-depth look at all these incoming changes in the next few weeks to prepare for the rollout in the next few months. This is such like big stuff. So we've got on there as well. This is another thing. Someone was just saying this on Reddit the other day. And when we were talking to Alora SC uh, in his stream last night, someone actually mentioned this new hero system. So we're excited to announce a brand new updated hero system. This system has been redesigned to offer a more flexible approach to customizing your loadout with more options and room for creativity. 
you'll have a total of six hero slots to manage up from the previous three. First choosing a main hero to command up and then five additional which will determine the perks and traits. We're looking to expand a variety of loadouts you can create, putting the tools in your hands to make meaningful decisions. We'll put together a comprehensive blog to run you through the system when we finalize all the details. That sounds incredible. So there's going to be so much extra that you can do on there. And, you know, with six hero slots, I mean, that's just nuts. So you can have all of them extra perks onto your hero. Now, I'm keen to see like how they're going to move the support tacticals and things like that. But let me know down below what you think of this. Because so far, I'm really hyped for this. I'm more hyped for this than I am for the Fort Nightmares event. And that's saying something because I'm quite looking forward to that. So it says on here, you're changing a lot of stuff. I've upgraded what happens to my invested mats. That's something we're all going to be asking, right? So we're working on an investment refund feature that will activate whenever we make significant changes to schematics, heroes, survivors, defenders, and other items you've upgraded. Upon launch, it will be an opt-in process. We will flag an item that has been rebalanced and you choose to de-level if you wish. We will not automatically de-level your items. For this first version, we will be rolling out the rebalancing flag to only heroes adjusted by the new system, while we investigate how to grant back other materials in edge case scenarios. So that's all good. I think that, like I said, they're really putting some effort into this game. I've literally just released a video. I've had to release this one pretty much straight after, just because there was so much extra to cover. I didn't see all the extras that were in there. So I'm quite excited for all this. And as I said, I'd love to know your comments on this down below. So just to quickly summarize then, let's just go right back up to the top then. So this is the screen with it that we were faced with. So we've got no free to play in 2018, which we knew about. We've got the front end improvements with them two fantastic looking hero screens that we saw. The menu screens look absolutely fantastic. Uh, we've got the new hero system that they're looking to bring in. It's, there's not much on that, you know, I'd like to see even more, but we do know that we're going to be having six hero slots instead of the original three that we've got right now. And then of course, we've got Fort Nightmares coming up. Honestly, I think right now, this is probably for me since, oh God, what's happening with my screen? <laughs> this is probably for me since going back a long long time the best shape that the, be the game's been in in for you know in as long as i can remember you know this game's not been in this good a shape for a while we've got a new event coming up new ui we've got you know we've got the meeting that's going off with a lot not just a lower sc but you know the inviting twitch streamers over to their actual hq to actually talk to them which i really still wish i was a part of epic but you know what overall how exciting is all this this is absolutely great if you're new to save the world i would definitely definitely you know now's the time to pick it up if you've not played it already and you someone who's been thinking about it now is a great time now it did say it was going 50% uh, off so when's 50% coming off here we are look so it actually says on there for those of you who want to start playing right now we've got you starting this week we'll be hosting a 50% off sale on the standard deluxe super deluxe and limited founders packs so guys make sure that you go and grab that because as I, I mean I would love to have you as part of the Latana army if you're a new player already I know some of you that don't play Fortnite save the world watch the channel as well which I massively appreciate so some of you have got a bit of a head start and you know a lot of the things out there but if you want a specific guide on certain things make sure you let me know in the comments down below because i would love to know but guys this is huge so i'm looking forward to seeing your comments down below so make sure that you have your say on this which bit are you looking forward to the most maybe you're still looking forward to the fort nightmares event the most there just seems to be a hell of a lot going off at the minute it's really busy in fortnite save the world which is great for the you know for me and the other youtubers but it's even better for you guys the community as well so let me know in the comments down below what you think and i will catch you tomorrow on the next video thanks for watching this guys